We very intentionally want to accomplish sharing some super great information um, on an entrepreneurial level that has never been seen the world over. And uh, my dad owns a barbershop. And so I thought it would be so cool to get him and the him and the barbershop crew in here and just because they could you know barbershops mm. they ain't nothing but a gossip place yeah. so they gossip just as much as a beauty salon so i thought it would be awesome because it's a bunch of the age group is like from here to here yeah. Yeah. so i thought it would be awesome to get them in and just like let them talk about I don't know, whatever they talk right so i mm. thought that would be like really awesome Cool, cool. I got that idea from him, so I'll, I'll give him a shot on that one. Cool. Woo! I think um, it, it's still at a really cool place where, as we're learning, we can kind of share some information at the same time, and um, that's kind of the goal um, with with rest because nobody's a, a pro here. Um, I love doing. It. I, I if I have an idea and I'm excited about it and I want it to go well and I want it to be something that I can be proud of, then I'm going to need space and I'm, I'm going to need to use my time well. And that's why I use scheduling sheets so much. That's why I backwards plan, which means um, taking a look at like the event you want to have, asking what do you want it to look like, how many people do you want to go, all that, and then asking yourself, okay, well, what are the steps that I need, how many weeks do I need? The, the projects that we exist on, they really are at the tip of this iceberg, you know, and we kind of live the rest of our life around like the ability to accomplish these projects. And I'm gonna let um, Frankie, because you're, you're bursting at the horns, give us a summary of your how you manage time as an entrepreneur. So time is super important to me because I like am just I have like, a lot of energy. I'm all over the place, and I know that if I don't have like schedules, I won't be as productive as I want to be. Mm -hmm. And I'm really big on like just um, really big on setting goals and having a rollout after your goals. So I don't like it when I don't reach my goals. So I do a lot of scheduling. I have wonderful sheets that I've made that, um, I was gonna say that they're on the project board, but they're not. But they, they are. Oh, they wait. are? Are they not? I don't know if you put on the project board. No, I haven't, I haven't. Okay, I haven't. so maybe can you put these sheets on the project board? By the time this video's up, they're really, really well, so great sheets. They and are. Devtral sheets too. Yeah, Devtral has some sheets because like you'll get them at projectforward.tv slash work uh, workshops, oh. and then there's a little bar that says resources. Fantastic. Fantastic. So, okay, I'll, so I'll put a little link there too. Easy. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so scheduling things out really allows you to see like how realistic is your goal because if your goal isn't realistic, then maybe it's not meant for right now, and that's just okay. And I like to really have a lot of clarity about the things that I step into. I, I'm like it because like I've been on this radical change thing, so I've been doing a lot of work with my mental health, and um, I've been I have such a supportive team. And I'm so grateful for all the people that are working with me on my mental health and providing me with some amazing books to read. But one thing I'm learning is that like there's it takes radical change to shift to do some of the mind shifts because it could be very easy for me to just to say, well, okay, this is a diagnosis, this is a reason, this is a situation, and my life is going to be like right here. Like this is where, this is what my, or this is my playing field. But there's so many like professionals who have all kind of like things, all kind of situations and it's like, what do you believe? What do you plan for yourself? So that means that I need to radically level up my belief system so that I'm not living in this box of circumstances and so I've been really like thinking a lot about that I know you guys know like I try to eat clean as possible I try not to eat a lot of snacks because sugar isn't always the best thing for your brain and chips at the end of the day are going to just convert to sugar but like just being radical like intentional so I'm like really working on like not eating out I've set these goals for, like do so many push-ups a day just even push myself to have like feel the success of feeling my body change from doing the push-ups it's like so I'm a little bit obsessed with the radical change and really doing intentional things to help me level up my discipline because um, it takes a lot of discipline of mind to change your mindset about thinking if you're thinking in ways that don't empower you. So, yeah.
you know, the an obstacle is that mindset. It's kind of some of the things that I could use to, like, that's why I asked her about the demon voice. So we had a podcast and I asked this woman about the demon voice because I'm kind of really interested in it because you can listen to it or not. And so one of the obstacles that I have is um, just, well, you know, I can say it's dealing with a voice but something else is coming up for me. It's really like, what is Frankie? So, um, that's a big obstacle that I'm working through and my goal is just to set time aside to sit down and look at my websites, look at my writing and gain clarity on that. And I know it'll come. I don't want to push a force. That's one thing that I've made my mind up around for a solution on it. If I'm not clear on what is Frankie and what she provides, I'm not going to push and force because it's been about six months of me being intentional and I haven't found anything that excites me. That's where I'm like the year of yes and the year of no. I'm not totally excited about it, but I don't think I have to jump into it because I have to have something. Maybe I just need to continue to gain a little bit more mental strength right now. Maybe I don't need to jump onto like this is Frankie. And so, yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Um, I know what I would suggest um, because I went through that as well and that's why I started that 100 day challenge to release a song today because it was reestablishing who I was like even what it is I was doing and so it was around day 16 after I heard these songs I hadn't heard in years and like just re-putting them out yeah. I was just saw like oh that that's who I am like you know it was just so clear as day at that point that I was just all like oh that's why because I listened to it and I'm just all like oh that's what I dealt with that's how I'm able that's my communication style to people like to where they